Hey guys, happy Friday. Yeah, it's a couple days earlier because I missed last week, but that's all right. You know, I thought I was going to get sick, and I actually didn't. Um, I felt the tickle, and I felt, uh, well, it's been a pretty miserable allergy season, believe it or not, because the rain, um, really, we didn't have a rainy season this year. And... Um, I think it was Tuesday, probably, that Wednesday maybe, I I was kind of sleepy, and I never get sleepy. I mean, really, I just don't, not for two some years. In fact, I know I have an anniversary on my carnivore video coming up here in November. I just can't remember the exact date. And um, I'll be doing a video on how carnivores treated me, um, if you can't tell. Uh, so... I slept for 12 hours. I went to bed like seven in the seven in the seven in the evening. The sun had already set, so um, and then I didn't get up till about seven the next day, and that was it. Um, I kind of had like a <coughs> a little not a cough. There was no phlegm. Weird, but you know that cough you have kind of and you have kind of a kind of a taste or a, like a flavor. Um, I don't know, I, I've always had it when I had a cold or, you know, got the flu or something. And, um, again, this, this was 12 to 24 hours long, never had any flu, didn't have the runny nose, no headache, no fever. So apparently my metabolism is so good in my tender age of 57 uh, I haven't been sick in four years, and uh, definitely two and a half years of that is thanks to being in ketosis. And of course, the last two years has been obviously since uh, since carnivore. Uh, although I do still uh, imbibe in the coffee. Hmm. Of course, it's late here. Um, it's five thirty, five thirty-five. So that's obviously decaf and. Um, that's for, a, 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 like Dr. Sivas says, uh, emotional management, because uh, he is the carbohydrate, uh, he is the carb addiction doc. Um, and uh, he's neat, he's, he's fun to listen to uh, when he gets on his, his carbohydrate thing. When he starts getting into some other stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, to each his own, right? Um, and it didn't wind up getting kind of a little cold sore. Um, but I almost attribute that to um, a, a little bit of kind of acute stressors that I, that I had. Uh, I was talking to my youngest daughter and she was having some things go on. And when you're actually listening non-judgmentally, I mean, it just hit me and it, it, it brought me to tears because the poor girl's just, she has some things that she has to deal with. Um, and uh, we had taken a drive uh, down the backbone of Aguas Calientes. It's a dirt road that extends for tens of kilometers uh, out in the back country so we hopped in our little VW goal and you know kind of did that and traveling is always stressful a lot of people get sick after traveling and it was the birthday month so I was actually eating um, some substantial carbohydrate loads and um, but it didn't do anything to my weight as a matter of fact I'm I'm 189 this morning I've been 189 for like two two years to two years something like that yeah it's, it's really it's amazing it, it amazes me i'm never hungry when i am hungry i eat until i'm stuffed and i get to be stuffed and right now i'm like oh, i'm stuffed i made uh four sets of cloud bread and i had cold cut sandwiches with some you know junk cheese and a little bit of mayonnaise yeah every once in a while ain't gonna kill you some jalapeno slices some raw onion and uh, even a touch of barbecue sauce and some mustard. So um, had yogurt. I actually had a couple of chocolate chips in that and a few strawberries. Uh, but that's that's the limit of my veg and fruit um, eating. Um, and of course, I haven't eaten anything since. I didn't eat anything up till then. Uh, and I did have a six egg omelet with some ham and cheese. 
French omelet, of course. Right. With, uh, and I think it was, yeah, I cooked it in about half a stick of butter. So I'm good to go. Um, but I'm thinking all this carbs, and, and even my birthday weekend, I made my own pizza uh, for myself. Now, the only real processed thing in my pizza literally is the bromated flour. Okay, so sue me. Um, but yeah, we had pizza. I think we had some coconut cream pie over the month. Um, I had made uh, like a Luby's cheesecake. If you're not familiar with Luby's, it was a all-you-can-eat place in Texas. Uh, I think they went out of business already. But anyway, we scored their cheesecake recipe, which is actually, if you don't eat the crust, it is carnivore. Um, there's no gelatin in it. It's cream cheese and uh, essentially eggs and butter. Um, and if you add sugar to the actual cream cheese part, not the, the actual crust, um, that's those are the only carbs you're going to eat. And of course, I can eat that without sugar at all, and it just tastes like cheesecake to me. It's absolutely delicious. So it's um, zero, obviously zero sugar. Um, whatever's in the cream cheese would take much. I think it's four grams per hundred, something like that. The eggs, a, a twitch maybe. So it's been a, it's been a pretty stressful month as far as uh, stressful months go, and um, no, that's it. Didn't get sick, um, and I'm not sleepy yet, uh, but I reckon I will be in a, maybe the next couple hours. So I'm going to do some more editing on things I have to do, and uh, probably just play around a little bit. Uh, on the computer upload this video of course whatever episode it is next so anyway guys um, big fan of the uh, carnivore low carb high fat um, ketogenic lifestyle I love it really do fascinating absolutely fascinating it just continues to fascinate me so yeah I think I'm gonna look into when I actually hit my two-year carnivore um, um, anniversary, if you will. I know it's in November sometime. So you guys have a great weekend, and we'll chat again next week. Be well.